Hey, 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 Monkeys, how you doing? Damien Keys here. So you want to look after your audience. You're building the audience, but you need to look after your audience. And what can you do? Okay, yes, you can do competitions and giveaways, but what about getting to know your audience? And I don't mean demographically. I mean individually. Get to know Dave. Get to know John. Let me tell you something. When we started BIM, every single year, I'd have a party piece. On the very first day of term, we'd have we'd have a, a section where the students would come in and then have to have their picture taken with a card with their name written on it. And we'd have five, 600 pictures with all the students' names on it. And it would take me two to three weeks, but I would sit there for hours every single day memorizing names. And I know there are past BIM students watching this now going, yeah, he did that, yeah, he did that. It would take me hours and hours a day, every day. But I knew that when it came to week two, week three, when I could literally walk out of a class or I could be walking down the street and I could say, hey Chris, how's it going? Hey Dave, how's it going? It made them feel special. It made us feel like we had a connection It was, and we were able to communicate and engage. It made them know that I was there for them. But can you imagine how much work it was just sitting there all those hours to remember five or 600 faces and names and testing myself on them again and again and again? But it was, it was invaluable. It wasn't just worth it, it was so worth it because I genuinely want to help the students. So therefore, do your fucking homework. Learn about them, learn who they are. You can do the same thing with your band, with your audience. Learn about them, learn what they're into. And when you're communicating, you're not communicating to get stuff out of them. You're not advertising. This is social media so that you can actually use your knowledge of them to give them what they want. But that lesson of actually putting that much hours into something so subtle but so important, which is someone's name, it took, it took weeks and weeks to learn everyone's names. But I feel like it was the most important way I could possibly have spent my time in, in every year on that first couple of weeks of, of BIM, on every single year. And it got to the point where it started off with 200 students and then 400 students and then 700 students. It would just take longer and longer and longer and more and more amounts of work. Was it worth it? Fucking right it was. I want to know every single student by name as quick as humanly possible. So when it comes to looking after your audience, learn about them. Learn their names, learn where they're from, learn what music they're into, learn why they're there, what they're trying to get out of your, you know, what they wanna see from your band. Do your homework and put the time in. I guarantee you, they will be there for life because now, five, 10, 15 years later, I'm still bumping into these students on a regular basis, still remember their name, and we still have proper conversations. So when you're building and looking after your audience, make them an audience for life, and not an audience for this band. Have a think about it. I'll see you guys tomorrow.